Now I know we all want to make money. We want to gather coins, to buy the best gear, to progress in the game, and to make that progression as fast as possible. Well, almost every action in Skyblock actually does make some money. But of course, certain actions, certain grinds make a lot more money than others. So today, being about halfway through the year, we're gonna walk through some of the best money-making strategies of 2024 so you can take advantage of them before it's too late. Now hit that like button and subscribe. Also, you better be using code SWEET in the Hypixel store for 5% off your purchases because we are gonna jump right on in. We'll start off with an early game money-making method and progress all the way to late game methods as we continue through the video. But here we are kicking it off with a classic money-making method that is grinding Glacite Walkers. Now we're starting off with this one because the entire setup to grind it out costs a total of 11 coins. That's right, with just two pieces of wood, you can craft yourself a pickaxe, which should be able to let you one tap them then it's as simple as running around in the dwarven mines and just killing as many of these as possible and actually with the early 2024 glacite tunnels updates you might have expected these to not make as much money and it honestly barely got affected jewels dropped a little bit in price but they added even more mob spawns so it about evens out so guys let's do this for an hour and we'll see what the money looks like one hour later and here we are we've clicked through a bunch of these guys and got almost an inventory full of glacite armor along with 27 glacite jewels this is of course the bulk of the money it's over two and a half mil then with the armor as well going for about 20 30k a piece we can pretty easily say that this makes about three mil an hour and for such a cheap setup it's a beautiful gateway money making method into starter gears and even better methods one of those next money making strategies and the next one we're going to talk about today uses just a cheap less than two million coin aurora staff with just a few simple enchants including a good looting again in the dwarven mines we're going to be using this guy on treasure hoarders these guys each drop some starfall and they have a chance to drop some treasureite so let's continue with this for an hour and see what kind of money we're talking about and there is an hour past i'll just get these two kills here and then check it out we got 14 treasure right not much just 300k there then there's all the starfall it was filling up my inventory a lot so i had to throw some in the chest but here's some more opal and guys here is the almost full e chest and a half of starfall that we've gotten we're looking at about 3.4 mil per inventory here and it's going to be quite a few inventories actually about three of them so guys that's about 10 mil a little over that a little over 10 mil per hour starfall grinding another good method that'll do about 10 mil an hour is jungle key grinding grinding from key guardians of course that's done in the crystal hollows but i won't dive into it too much right now instead we'll move on to some mid game money making methods now of course there's a bunch of good money making options still in the mines like gemstone mining and on the garden with farming all your mayor events are great for mid game as well as things like spooky festivals and winter fishing but what i want to highlight today are some solid options in the rift so let's jump on in now the first one we're going to talk about is grinding half eaten carrots crafting them into exportable carrots with this recipe here then transferring them back over to the main island and selling them off in the bazaar you're gonna need the plaza to be unlocked for this which is pretty easy to do and then you'll take your horse zuka back into the corner over here you can talk to the cowboy and just kind of push your rabbit on in once he gets to the carrots he'll go ahead and farm them up for you that works just fine but it is honestly a lot easier if you go ahead and craft the nearly coherent fishing rod it is a pretty expensive craft though you need three and a half thousand collection on these guys and then 16 enchanted to go ahead and make it the rod does let you direct your rabbit a lot easier so let's bring mr olympi into another carrot patch let's go ahead and farm these carrots for an hour my time ran out but i have just joined back into the rift we did about 45 minutes of carrot farming which got us 42 carrots and then the other 15 went into our crookses so an hour total and we can get to crafting up a ton of these guys now again the craft is just these four items two crookses two carrots for a full stack of exportable carrot that's about 600 700 000 coins per every two carrots should give us a pretty crazy like 20 mil or so so again let's continue to super craft it up so we've got three stacks in here that we can't even fit in our very full rift transfer chest so let's warp to the other side grab up all the goods 
goods and sell them off guys 13 mil here plus the extras that's going to be about 15 million coins that we made in one hour of grinding the next strategy we're going to review today is also in the rift and this one is going to be within the living cave it is essentially going to be snake mining all you need is this frozen water punji and a pickaxe then you'll mine the snakes to grab living metal hearts these guys have a bunch of different crafts, but I think the best for money is either the Polar Void Books or Bluetooth Rings. Now you can grind these solo or with a party, and of course it goes faster with others helping. So let's throw a quick message in chat, and we've found somebody who wants to help out. So one person will freeze the snake, and the other person just mines it up for both of you to get the drop. Let's jump in for an hour, and we'll see how much we can make. And here we are at the end of the hour. Our first friend left, but we have new partners helping us out, and we were able to get just over over three stacks of living metal hearts. We'll do Bluetooth rings today, and it is half a stack per. So this guy's is going to get us about six Bluetooth rings. We transferred those over, and now it's gonna be six items for about three and a half mil each, maybe even a little bit more. So guys, that's about 22 million coins every hour. Pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Now we could stay in the rift for Vamp Slayer. That's pretty solid, averaging about 30 mil an hour. Or we could come back to even more mining, maybe something like Obby Mining could be 30 mil an hour as well, I believe. Instead though, today, we're going to jump into something a little simpler that should be able to do comparable amounts of money. And this is going to be in the Crystal Hollows, simply lava worm fishing. So I've thrown on some Magma Lord gear. I've grabbed a solid lava rod. And we're going to find a good spot within the Precursor Remnants to grab those membranes. Let's jump on in for an hour. Now your magic find doesn't actually affect your profit on this one. But the amount you make per hour can still fluctuate a lot. And that's based on the amount of people that you're grinding with. Also your fishing stats and the level of looting on your weapon. Looting five is ideal, but today I only did looting four and my hour is complete. I did do most of my grinding with a second person, so it was a two-man group, but you just fish them up and slay them out. Then check the inventory, you get tons of membranes. We got about five stacks in our one hour of fishing, which is about 21 million coins. Now with better stats, better gear, and a bigger party, I do believe this can get to 30, 35 mil an hour. Plus, it's a consistent strategy, which is probably the best part. Now, let's warp to the nether for a couple money making strategies over here. While we're in our fishing attire, there's always Jobus fishing available. But for this next one today, we're gonna head to the back of this island and talk about Blaze Slayer. Now, I honestly haven't started blaze slayer at all but why not let's go ahead and jump into it real quick we could claim level one as well as level two level three level four and level five and we can start talking about the way that this makes bank the slayer continues to level six and seven and having level seven acquired along with a pretty fast boss time and quick boss respawns that's when the money gets crazy of course this being one of the last and hardest slayers it has a very high barrier to entry the gear that you need is expensive expensive and takes a very long time to get. But let's go for a quick breakdown. You can start off with strengthened vanquished equipment and vitality is going to be the most important attribute on those. My whole setup's pretty budget, but of course to make the best money out of this, you're going to want vitality probably six, seven or higher. As for a pet, a G-Jag works, maybe a blaze pet. As for armor, you can start off with sorrow, but you'll want to be building an infernal crimson set because that's going to be best. And actually I'm using a Necron set, which works as well. And you're also going to want a very nice warden helmet to go with any of these. Plus on the side, you're gonna want some Reaper gear. As for weapons, there's a couple stages of daggers. There's tier ones, tier twos, and tier threes. You'll wanna work up to the Pyro Chaos and Death Ripper daggers. Then some version of a Hype would be great for healing. An Ensoed Sword for its ability. A Wither Cloak Sword to defend against the one tap Fire Pillars. And the Rag Axe, which you're gonna use in conjunction with the Reaper gear. Any sort of Flux or Flare would be great and helpful. Plus a couple consumables. We're talking the Reheated Gummy Bear as well as a 30 minute wisp splash potion. There are a couple specific great spots to do these bosses. For example, one of them is on top of these pillars and another great spot is on top of these skulls. These locations will help you avoid the boss's fire pit damage. Anyway, let's spawn one up and we'll start clicking through them. As soon as you get through the first phase, you're gonna swap to your reaper gear, use your rag ax, and then slay out the skellies. You'll have a couple phases of killing the blaze with some fire pits and some fire pillars. But once you get through it all, that's the boss. 
Again, to make crazy money from this one, you gotta be fast with your bosses and your respawns. So your setup really does have to be solid. Anyway, when you have the multi-billion coin setup, 100 million per hour is possible and it's pretty OP. I'll leave a link to a more full guide on Blaze Slayer down below. Now the last money-making method for today is also a very late game money-making method and I'm quite sure it is the best method in all of Skyblock. Now, of course, with this, we're talking about Kudra. There are five tiers of Kudra runs, and the Infernal tier is where all the money is. That's where you want to be. Although, to even start this and jump into a run, the requirements are pretty insane. Mostly because you need 12,000 rep. That could take up to or over a month of doing your daily quests. With that requirement complete, you can start working on gathering Kudra keys. Of course, you're going to need a lot of those Infernals, which are claimed by coins, Enchanted Mycelium, and Nether Stars. These Nether Stars are co-op soulbound so you are gonna have to spend time specifically grinding those something you're also going to need is a pretty maxed crimson essence shop this is for fresh tools stronger arm head start and kudra master but now we can jump into the runs themselves and because we're just talking about the money making method I'll just jump all the way to infernal runs you'll start these runs typically with a solid Aurora set your hype some pearls and a magma rod the party of four will split to the X the slash the equals sign or the triangle to grab supplies with your magma rod as soon as they become available, then you can use normal e-pearls to quickly place your crate. An ember set is much needed as well to travel around in the lava and pull crates as needed. Once all crates are grabbed though, the build phase will start. You'll crouch and build on the pillar that is closest to the first supplies you gathered that run. When the build is complete, somebody in the party will hop in a cannon, shoot themselves into Kudra's core, and use a mining set to stun the boss, while the others will hop over to the stairs next to Kudra and prepare to damage the boss with a terror set, a terminator, and a warden. Then at the final phase, you simply avoid the red and use your term to shoot Kudra whenever he pops out. Now, of course, I missed an absolute boatload of information here because this is not a Kudra guide. Today, we are just talking about money-making methods, and so I'll link a thorough guide below. But with the run complete, this is where we open our chests and look to make all our profit. In a good party, averaging about one minute runs and having some decent luck on your drops, that's when the 50 70 100 million coins plus per hour is doable so guys we've got a handful of keys in our inventory let's run through these and see what we can grab into the runs we go not gonna grab this first one that looks solid though ender resistance four. a good grab and sure oh for a staff in Iraq now that's gross hollow gear is not what you want to see Mana region four shard. I'll grab it. Whenever you see a helmet, it's just like, oh, sad. Wheel of fate. Alrighty. Lifeline four. Cool. And so there we are. Guys, we used about seven infernal keys throughout a handful of runs. And so let's see how much we made. I guess we can start off by looking at the essence. We got about 13,000, which already off the bat, if I create a sell offer for that, it's 18 million coins. So quite the start. Then we got a few attribute shards here. The mana regen's decent, but but no matter, all of these are co-op soul bound, so they can't be sold. Next up, we got a few enchant books. We'll sell all of these for about four mil total. Then we have a wheel of fate. These go for about 10, 11 mil. And finally, we've got three pieces of equipment along with four pieces of armor. These ones are gonna be harder to sell, but let's go for it. And now it's all in age, ready to sell. We actually ended up making about 60 mil there, maybe minus about 25 mil for the keys. We're looking at 35 mil profit. And that's with our slow beginner runs. Now that is gonna to be the last money making method that we cover but we casted a pretty wide net on this video so hopefully there was something that was around your skyblock level even on my profile i made a good amount of money today testing out different strategies i did spend far more than i made but that's the fun of it right anyway guys that is going to do it once again for today's video if you did enjoy please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe be sure to use code sweet in the high pixel store for five percent off your orders and i'll see you all in the next one adios and goodbye yeah.